Good day shifters, I hope you're well. This is our final final topic for EMS Business Studies Grade 9. So I really hope that you're um, watching this video. It's almost like a summary of what we did in the eight business functions. But here you have to just combine it, put it in such a way that you have a document that you can follow to the letter to the T, right? If we think of we as Christians, we have to we love to read our Bible, follow the principles. And that's how you will have a business plan. If you want to have a business, you need to have a set plan of actions that you can follow, that you've planned out, thought through, because in doing so, you will actually see a lot of potential errors that you might have missed. All right, so I said it's similar to the business function. So what is this business plan? The concept starts with an idea. You have a business idea, and in that, you need to make sure that you are profitable. Okay, so it's all about what, what is in this business plan? This is your plan of action. Like I said, it's how you're going to do it. What's your action plan? It's uh, information on what you're going to do, where you're going to do it, when, how, why you're going to do it, as well as it's your safety net, it's your testing center to see how it, if it will work. And then that will lead to, um, how you will get funding, why will people want to invest, why will they want to give money, that's why they need to see a business plan. So if you have all of that, we can put the definition together to say it's a formal written plan that gives a detailed description of how a business is going to achieve its goals. Okay, so why is it important? It helps you to identify what actions to take in order to reach a goal. So. To be make to be efficient, you need to make sure that your actions are lined up in order to reach your goals. Um, the saying goes: If you uh, fail to plan, you are planning to fail. So you need to make sure that you have an action to do. Okay, you can anticipate problems and then start thinking about solutions. Let's think about COVID a few years ago. In 2019, December, we heard about this new thing going around the COVID pandemic. And all of us, we thought, yo, what is going to happen now? What is this? And we listened, but none of the companies reacted to it. Remember, it's, a, it's a, similar to a cult. So what? Um, in, instead of just listening to the news, some people should have um, started proactive thinking about um, the way that they're going to um, counter it. And um, that is a, a good preemptive um, thinking process, but you can never identify all the risks and the problems that you're going to face. So looking at the uh, next one is it does you have to convince people outside the business that your business will work. If you can convince them, you can get people that will invest. And if you have people that invest, you can get your capital. And then if you can't get capital, you can apply for a loan much easier if you have a really good business plan. Okay, so what does that compile of? A business plan's components, it's uh, all the information about the business, who's the owners, what's the goals with the goals, you can have your vision, mission, goals, objectives, your products or services that you're describing, which is your product description, um, with the owners, it's your um, the company background, um, you can do your production plan, you can do your marketing plan, a management plan, um, uh, with that comes with your competitors, your financial plan, a SWOT analysis, um, and uh, your, um, it's all, uh, you have to then also have, which is not on there, your executive summary that you can see at the top there. Now, executive summary is almost like a one pager, that if you can get people to read that and are interested, you've got them hook, line, and sinker. Okay, so let's look at this um, table. So it's, you have to have a front cover, which is your name of the business, the logo, slogan, title of the person compiling it, date. So it's almost like when you do a project, you know, all those things you have to put on. Table of contents, just make sure that people can follow each section that they want quickly. We're going to the page number for reference. Description of your goods. Here you have to explain what type of goods, your nature, um, would, what's the, do you think the demand is, what makes this product unique, and how will you price it, okay? Your goals, what's your vision, what's your mission, short and medium long-term goals. You need to make sure that you can put them out there and to show that if you work systematically, you will achieve your vision. Business owners, 
This is your name of the business, your form of ownership. People want to know who you are, why you're doing it, um, and who's with you. If you take a look at most people, most companies, pro uh, public and private, uh, or just private, public companies, sorry, on the JSE, they will look intensely at who's the business owner. If you're not a company, people would less likely be interested in investing in your business. Why? If you lose, they will lose all their investment. But if you are a company, then they stand a chance there in line to actually get some money back That f if you're forced to liquidate. Okay, production plan. Um, this means how will you efficiently um, produce your products. Uh, this will look at your type of um, operations, your production process. Will you use patching, which means you produce a lot of one thing, then you stop, then you produce a lot of nothing, then you stop. Or will you do mass production where you just focus on one bar of chocolate? Or will you do a jobbing process where you have a specific item that you want to do? Each one is unique and individual. Okay, next video we will continue on with the next slide on business plan format.